I have traveled thousands of kilometers from the Pacific Ocean to the Atlantic Ocean, to the other side of South America, to learn how they treat their children here. Sao Luis still has an emperor and an empress. Amilcar attending a feast in their honor. Their excellences' ages, Christopher is 11, and Janaina, 9. What's the reality behind this vision of childhood? The fishing village of Guarapiranga, on the edge of San Luis. is all they talk about, ballet, ballet, ballet. These are the children of fishermen, of security guards, and of the unemployed. These boys and these girls are growing up with a different way of thinking. They are growing up with a different mentality. Inland to the hills of Sierra State and Arocoyaba. Amilcar's heard Arocoyaba is doing what he's trying to do in Peru and start early. The idea, learn in the playground, not just the classroom. If fathers wasn't here, they'd be doing something else, like drinking and drugs, legal and illegal, and violence. If it wasn't for this place center, there would be even more. From the hills around Fortaleza to the drug favelas of Rio de Janeiro. The main difficulty for children is the drug traffic in the favela. It stops us learning properly. Yvonne Bezerra de Mello started a new kind of schooling, bringing the playground into the classroom. In this history class, the first 15 minutes, warming up. Ballet here, too. Brazilian ballet, Caipuera. Once they're warmed up, they're ready to write. When a child is under stress, their cognitive capacity to think declines. This is proved by neuroscience. All scientists know it. So I believe governments who know this have to take charge and change the children's schooling. What has impressed me the most in this visit to Brazil is that, yes, there are experiences and models that can work for the children. You can rescue a child that has been violated, that has been the victim of mistreatment. There is a way of doing it that works, and this will enable me to do it in my home in Huamanga, in Ayacucho. 